What's the difference between a homeopath and a surgeon? It's a question that sounds like a joke, and it won't have many surgeons laughing. Homeopathy is the scientifically implausible idea that diluted substances can somehow treat disease, it has never been shown to work and any effect is, at very best, a placebo effect. It's a world away from the glinting scalpels and cut and dried logic of surgery. See a problem, cut it out, sew it back up. Right? Well, it is until you start looking for evidence of effectiveness for some operations, and then you're left thinking that the line between the two is not as clear as you first thought. Nobody is suggesting that a liver transplant, cancer, surgery or a cataract operation is ineffective or down to placebo, says Andy Carr, a professor of surgery at the University of Oxford. But for more routine surgeries, where outcomes are subjective, things, such as pain or stiffness, there's good evidence that many are little more than placebo. Given that these operations cause risk to patients and cost to hospitals, that is good evidence that we should stop doing them. Evidence-based medicine works a little like a fairground ride in that there's a you-must-be-this-high-to-ride sign at its gate. To be accepted, an intervention must be shown to work better than a placebo in a randomized trial in which participants don't know whether they are getting the active treatment or the placebo. With drugs, that placebo is a sugar pill, but with a surgical intervention it's what's called a sham surgery, a faked procedure that omits the step thought to be therapeutically beneficial but includes incision and anesthetic if necessary. When put through the ringer of this type of testing, many surgical interventions come up short. You can no longer say, as a doctor, that homeopathy is rubbish because you're doing the same thing Carr and his colleagues reviewed 53 trials of less invasive surgical interventions, ones that didn't include cutting open entire cavities or lots of dissection, and found that, for half of surgeries tested, there was little sign that they were any better than placebo. Under the harsh light of the Evidential operating table, it's tough to justify their continued use. Here are some of the surgical interventions that have been tested worldwide and have failed to convince arthroscopy for arthritic knee, spinal cement injections for vertebral fractures, some gastric balloon procedures for obesity, meniscectomy, the surgical removal of all or part of a torn meniscus in the knee, sphincterotomy too. Reduce pain after gallstone removal, and laser surgery for angina.